Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to Cloud to Master, the series that we take a main account and attempt to get to Master. I think I made a balls up of that intro, but we're going to roll with it. Uh, but we return, Diamond 338 OP, and I will say, just excuse my hair, and if I'm very a little bit sluggish, I just came back from the gym, and I had an arm day, and uh, we found out that I have a weakness in my left elbow. So I will say right now, as a tip to you guys at home, if you have, uh, I'm deeming it keyboard elbow. So the past five years, all I've done is have my arm like this on a keyboard. So every single day, just make sure you stretch out your arms properly. Uh, because every single time that I was lifting a weight, my arm got kind of stuck there. And it wasn't actually to do with the weight that I was lifting. It was actually just to do with my elbow just wouldn't, didn't want to continue. And we, we're putting it down to just the motion that I've got with the keyboard for the past years. It's just made my left arm really lazy. Um, so yeah. Just as a bit of health advice from Huzzy, <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, so I will say, hopefully this person isn't a rager. Again, I always find these people are kind of the idiots of League that are like, I only play this. Uh, see, these are the type of people that haven't adapted at all to League of Legends, that they're kind of living in the past, in the fact that back in the day when it was like priority pick, this would be the person that just like picks anyway, even though someone's picked their role. And, um, yeah, we now have them nowadays that he's been given top, but he's just, you know, going to say, I only play mid. Now, luckily, I will say this person's a Jace player, so he can go top lane. But what happens if this person wanted to play mid or whatever? You can't force your way into a role. Never do that. And I'll say this person who is Polish mid laner should just learn how to play another role. Otherwise, he's probably not going to be a very good league player overall. Um, anyway, what are we going to play? Again, Ramus is looking likely. Uh, Ramus to me is just very strong. And I'll say, I know a lot of people right now are going to go, oh, another Ramus episode, or clicked on the video, another Ramus episode. The thing is, uh, yesterday, I didn't actually announce it, but I did a poll in the actual um, video, and uh, quite a few people answered it, and there was three options. And it was, uh, what do you want to see? Uh, do anything it takes to climb. So play whatever champions, play as many uh, videos on the same champ as I need. Uh, the second option was do, you know, they like, people like multiple episodes on the same champion. And then the other one was people dislike multiple games on the same champion. The vast majority, it was like 85% of the people that voted, voted do whatever it takes to climb. They do not mind what champion I play. Uh, even if it means playing the same champion a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. Again, I've said to you guys, I like being Diamond in general. Uh, like right now, I think I'm in the top 0.3% of the game. That's great. But to me, Diamond truly begins in like Diamond 2. Diamond 2 is like pretty good. And I just want to get back to Diamond 2. Once we get back to Diamond 2, then maybe I'll relax a little bit, which I know that sounds counterintuitive because it'll get harder the higher rating we go. But I just want to get back to Diamond 2. To me, that's where I'm like, yes, I'm in, the, I'm in a good, really, rating of League. Uh, but anyway, let's get in the loading screen where we break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where you use the website, lolskill.net. Now, as you can see, my team has a 50.2% chance to win, but let's break it down. They've got a D4 Ash, D3 uh, Morg, D3 Cast, D4 Elise, and a D2 Trinity, but also with Ignite. On the end, uh, my team, sorry, the uh, Diamond 3 mid laner only person. Uh, Diamond 3 Jace top, Diamond 3 Ramus and myself, Diamond 3 Lulu, and a Diamond 3 Tristana in promo. So hopefully we can get a win for her. And I will say also the Tristana, funnily enough, uh, has a Challenger Season 3, I think that is, uh, summoner icon. So old Challenger player. Okay, one of the games today we are playing Ramus. Okay, 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 in the jungle. Uh, hoping that we can do quite well. If you're wondering what my game plan for the early game is, it's gank the Trindamir. Uh, I can come at level 2 top if you think we can kill him. What I'm thinking as my jungle path is start wraiths, then do red, and then go top. Because it might catch him off guard. And again, because he's got the teleport in the early game, if we put him behind, it will mean the teleport does uh, the ignite sorry, doesn't do anything. So maybe that's what we're going to do. This guy, the Casio, he's really bad. Okay, so that's also potentially a, a place to go. Uh, with the name Russian Sniper, I presume he's an AD carry main? Um, with that name? But yeah, I don't know, obviously. Oh, hi. He's dead. Wow. Okay, well, there's the Trindamir Ignite. 
Whole enemy team. I guess we didn't have great vision of coverage. Like, I guess that's why you always have somebody up here. Mm, who got the kill? Elise. Okay, that's going to make it a little bit more awkward in the early game. There's a bit, well, we got rid of the Ignite, so that like relieves some pressure from the Jace. But obviously, he's had to burn his flash, and so have I. Damn. What was the awkward thing in that situation is the fact that they split. What I'm hoping is that they haven't stayed for my red. They might have, by the way. Uh, so what I'm going to do before I do race, I just want to kind of see if they're doing it. And this, again, is going to slow me down a lot in the early game. Okay, they're not. Putting a ward there. Um, but yeah. Okay, this is going to be a little bit awkward. To say I'm going to be slow in early game. Now. Again, communication. Tell your team what's happening. And let them know that you're probably not going to be doing the quickest ganks and stuff like that. Uh, because there's no point them pinging if literally you just can't. Um, so the only person that didn't... Oops. Uh, the only person that didn't get an assist is Ash. I guess that's good. In a way. Hmm. The problem is I'm not going to have taunt for this gank. We'll see. Okay, is there a vision there? Or is it a lease? Yeah, unfortunately I can't do that gank. It's too pushed in now too. I might go mid lane at level 3. Do the wolves and then go mid. Leave blue up for now. Not the ideal clear, but we haven't had an ideal situation already in this game. Because the early play. Damn. Top invades are becoming more common, by the way. Because uh, they are looking just for the top laner, who's kind of just like AFK, basically. Okay, Elisa's top lane. It wouldn't surprise me if they camp the Jace, by the way. Uh, if I was a jungler, I would probably want to get my Trindamir with Ignite ahead. Um... Come on, LeBlanc. Oh, no, 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 no. That was pretty bad by that LeBlanc. That doesn't give me the greatest confidence. Uh oh, don't die. Yeah, that doesn't give me the greatest confidence in my LeBlanc, unfortunately. Yep. She backed off at the wrong time. Basically, what happened. So when I was, like, when she went for the chain, really good that she landed the chain. But then she backed off when I was coming in. Why back off? Um, if she stayed around, then we would have just killed her, I think, pretty much for free. It's, you know, it's not a terrible situation. Uh, you know, no one died at least. But I, it's a situation that we could have got a kill and we just didn't because of misplay, basically. They happen. Alright, trying to just do a little bit of a clear to get myself okay. That's going to go right on top of me. So the enemy team know where I am. Because they know where I am, don't base in a random area. Because, like, I'm pretty low. They know I'm low. At least could come and find me and just kill me if I stay around in an area that they know I'm in. So go to the safety of the tower. Let's buy that and that. Pretty good first back, I guess. Wait, wrong, wrong smite. Red smite. I just prefer Red Smite because it gives me so much more damage. People do not expect the damage from a Ramus, um, which I really like. It's the main reason I'm playing a lot of him at the moment, by the way, is because it combines tankiness with insane damage in a 1v1. Like, we've, we've seen, or if you've been watching my stream, I can kill AD carries by myself. Yeah, he's dead. Ugh. He was dead even without Elise, I'm pretty sure. And that's a matchup that Jace should have an advantage in, at least in the early game. I have to go top lane to protect the tower, because we do not want a Trindamir just randomly barraging it down. And I can get some free XP, I guess. It's not over if you play smart. He just has to play defensive. If he doesn't, then 
yeah, it's over. But that's the problem. Is he going to play defensive? Because you'll notice in that engage where he just died, he's actually the one that jumped on Trindamir. Don't do that anymore. I'm on my way mid lane. Oh, I'm on my way. Good dodge. Go back, go back, go back. Okay. That was pretty ballsy by the enemy team. They just have so much more early pressure than me right now because of that level 1 player just slowed me down. Obviously got no help on raids or anything. That's amazing. That's really good. Like, that shows the difference in mid lane. That she gets basically dove. And then overstays, unfortunately. Damn. Story of this game so far. Uh, do I gank top lane? If I gank top lane, then... Oh, I'm on my way. Not bad. Let's get this. Good kill though by Jace. Really nice. Don't die! Oh, come on, dude. He's making this very difficult for us in top lane. He shouldn't have gone back in. I'm trying to push it for him. So it doesn't get frozen here. Because if Trindamir freezes it here, we're in trouble. Uh oh. That was a mistake by me. God damn it. And there's the rage that I'm expecting from that type of person. Uh, I don't know what to do with this top lane. The reason why I stayed there to try and push it is because this guy is screwed if it gets frozen there. Like, more screwed than he already is. I just don't know what to do. This is a game that even I'm getting stumped. Because hmm. I'm the, the problem that I'm having in my mind right now... Is I think Trindam is going to carry. Which I really don't want to happen. Like, I guess we have a Lulu that counters him, like, pretty damn hard in team fights, But that's the problem. Is he going to even team fight? Because if Jace just lo keeps losing the 1v1, then he'll just, you know, kill him under tower and then just continue pushing. And I don't know if we can deal with that. That's the problem. Especially if now bot later. Oh, did he DC or did he quit? I don't know. Oh, this game's not looking good. But sometimes that's going to happen. Just backing them off. No, 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 no. Okay, flash gone. That's my point. Literally, that comes like I was just talking about top lane. That is exactly the point that I'm on about. Is if he keeps winning the 1v1, then we're basically screwed. So, I don't know. Like, we can do okay, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. That's why I was panicking about top lane a bit, because that's the lane that I think could just screw this game up the most.
Let's mute the Rager. Again, don't communicate with Ragers. It's just pointless. They'd rather have a conversation than trying to win the game. It kind of shows where their priorities lie. Again, it's what I expect from people that only play one role. They're a lot more ragey. Can we win this game? Oh, Ash is 2-0 as well. Based on comp, I think we can. Hmm. But how? We need LeBlanc to continue killing or to even just kill... Uh, rip. Um, we need LeBlanc to do well in mid lane is basically what we need. And we need bot lane to kind of turn it around. What the hell's going on there? There's no point in me going mid, by the way. I can't stop four people as my, you know, by my lonesome. Yeah. You protect the tier two. Cass is going for the Jace. Wonder if he'll die. No, he's good. At least he didn't die. Uh, maybe Rift Herald. go nice just needed that little bit of play and we didn't even have tristana then by the way nice trist me with everybody cool i'm happy about that that's two kills for me I thought that was a good play. Like, what could have ruined that play? Like, Ash also did flash. Uh, if she had heal. But she must have just not had heal. I don't know. That works really nicely. Cool. Alright, that gives us a bit of comeback. That gives us three kills. And bot tower with farm more. She's now caught up with farm. Cool. Alright. This game isn't over before we've been able to do anything. I will say the one good thing that the Jace has done. Obviously, yeah, he's died, you know, not... You know, not great in that aspect, but he's actually kept up with farm relatively well. So he's like not that, like not crazy far behind. And obviously, yes, he's behind, but not crazy. In in those situations, you're expecting somebody to be, you know, 20, 30, 40 CS behind, but he's not. He's like two waves behind. And Trindamir just built that advantage just now, to be honest. I am expecting the enemy team to do Rift Herald. Oh, hello. Little control ward, how are you doing? Yeah, I thought they were doing it. Oh wait, are they? I think they are doing it, but just not with... Everybody, apparently. Oh. I wonder if the Trisana's actually just given up. Good kill. Saw that one coming. Need the Tristana. Can't be AFK. Oh, that's spell immune. Come back. Uh, they only got one tower from a rift. That's not terrible. I think just a lot of this game is going to be the enemy team grouping from now on, pretty much. Again, I think this is winnable. Again, look at the kills. It's only 11-8. One more play like we had, you know, a few minutes ago. This game gets turned again. We just need to, you know, work as a team, I guess. 
Du, 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 du. Um, thorn mail will help a lot to the Trindamir. And the Ash. Get that. Which slows the attack speed, which is good. How's the farm looking? Now, everyone's behind by a bit. I'm ahead on the Elise, but... Hmm... Potentially going to kill on Cassio, maybe. Mm. I need my flash, I think. The problem that I might have now is getting to people. Alright, let's see if we can kill Cassio here. This might be risky. If she stays, then we might be able to do something. Okay, she's there. She's only level 10. I'm the same level as their mid laner. That's a good sign. Oh, if that Q went off, I would have killed her. Shame that Tristana didn't continue helping, but I, again, I think her attitude's probably given in. And she's probably given up. And then she's spam pinging me when she didn't help. Maybe she'll get the kill? Now she actually goes in. Hey, look, she got the kill. Well done. Woo. Why didn't you do that when I was actually on her? <laughs> Who knows? Weird game. Alright, well we get another kill on the Tristana. If she gets really strong, we can just focus Protector and then try to do something. Or right, maybe. Ugh, I can't make it through all those minions. Oh, he ulted. We should be going for this. Nice. I right, protect the thingies. Again, the more the enemy team pushes in, the more farm my team's getting for free. Yeah, we're not gonna get that. Yeah, we can't. I can't get to her. I'm not like an instant teleporting armadillo. If I had flash, baby, but I don't. No, I'm pretty happy with how that play went. That's another two kills? Three kills? Two? I don't know. Two? I think two. Or three. I've lost count. Alright, cool. Like, we are getting, you know, there's stuff that's going well. We just need to get objectives. We've only got one tower, which is bot lane. If we can get some more towers, this game is definitely achievable. Because, um, again, the kills are nearly even. Farm is catching up. LeBlanc's farm is pretty bad. You know, I'm technically even farm with her. Um, Jace, yeah, not not crazy far behind. Annie's gaining kills, so, you know. Uh, I don't know how LeBlanc died, but okay. Um... Could probably do a thorn mail if we go for a fight, but unfortunately, we're not gonna get it. Okay, they've w wasted a lot on me then. If we can hold it, oh, Jace is going from behind. Uh. Oh no, Trindamir. Ah, uh, two people got stunned. How did two people get stunned by Cassio? Do people not know how to turn? Cassio 101. It's very obvious a lot of the time when she's going to go for an ultimate. Turn. <laughs> None of them did. I did it earlier. If you Like, I didn't say anything about it, but I did it down there. For these type of players, it shouldn't be that hard to do. Are they doing Baron? I should have bought a control ward. 
Do 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 do. Ah, they were doing it. I stopped them doing the Baron. Swings and roundabouts. I knew they were doing it. I just wanted to stop it. Shame I died, but... Yeah, okay, I stopped the Baron. That's good. That's worth my death. Obviously, it's never good to die, but... Sometimes it's, it's worth. Just in case. If they got that Baron, I reckon the next push would have probably nearly ended the game. Maybe even ended the game. So in those situations, you've just got to suck it up, basically. Um, in the next team fight, what can we do? Do I just focus on protecting Trist? If I protect the Trist, does she have enough damage? Uh, no armor, no armor, no armor. Okay, maybe. If I protect Tristana, they don't have any armor. Okay, we're going to go for that. Let's see if, if that helps. They're going to get Mountain Dragon, and I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Yeah, they just did it. But if we do one team fight, focus on protecting. If it goes well, great. If it doesn't, then we're already losing, so it's not a big deal. Flash, unfortunately, is on cooldown, though. Nice. The, the longer this game goes on, again, the Trindamir shouldn't be useful in team situations. If he splits, then sure. But if he doesn't, he actually won't be that useful. Oh my god, that was so close to getting caught. Woo, alright, nice mid tower. Again, this is what we need. This is what we need. Okay, I got flash. That's good. But Morgana, I've got to be really careful to not taunt the target. Okay, let's go, let's go. Team! Hell yeah! Uh, actually, he can't take us all on. Okay, maybe he can. Please! At least get the kill! EQ! Oh my god, okay, he flashed into us. I wasn't expecting that, I'm going to be honest. Where did he come from? Did, oh, we have no vision down here. Okay. If we had a ward like here, then I think we would have spotted it and killed him. But he literally just came straight in and instantly killed LeBlanc. Like, she didn't even W. All right. Again, this game, it's turning a little bit, you know. That's good. In, in open team fights, I think we're going to win. It just depends how many open team fights we're going to have. That's the problem. Sometimes you know how to win, and sometimes you know how your comp beats an enemy comp, but it all depends if the enemy team play in such a way that lets you do it. Uh, if the Trindamir... The best thing that the enemy team can do, and I'm going to say it right now, is put Trindamir permanently on split pushing. If he permanently split pushes, then it probably takes Jace away, and then Trindamir probably can kill Jace in a 1v1, I would think. Um, all right, we need a ward on the Baron. And look, where Trindam is going. I'm going to say that's their smartest move. If, if they kill them in a 2v1, we've got to be careful of the counter baron. Good chain. Really good chain. Opening that up with a chain. Now they're going to go for the baron. Uh, but we should be able to stop this. Yeah, we're right here, guys. We're right here. You can't do it. So that was good. That was really good. Getting an instant kill on the Trindamir. She might die. Damn, she didn't die. That sucks. Tristana did jump into two of them, straight into a Morgana. It's a shame that we didn't get it. 
Two for two. Oh, if Tristana ulted, she, we would have got the kill. That little bit of extra damage. Mm. Just keep trying to get strength. If I can get the Righteous Glory, then it's pretty big. Because then I can get straight on top without much issue. Did you clear it? Oh. Oh, Ash Arrow. That's good. Tristana's going back. Oh, why are you risking it, LeBlanc? You've played bad the whole game. Don't do anything nuts. This is why she's died nine times. I need vision. I've literally got no vision. Why was Lulu basing when they were doing Baron? I don't get it. Like what? I had zero. Like I would have jumped over straight away, but I I had nothing to go off because she like was basing and typing. Ugh. I really hope attitudes don't make us lose this game. LeBlanc has to stop trying to do anything nuts. Sometimes you're just not going to play good enough to like pull it off. Some some games you'll feel like a king and you can do anything and every single play that you make just works. Some games it's the opposite and I think this is what's happened to this LeBlanc is that this game is just not her game. Maybe her raginess has caused that. Um, that she's too focused on raging but yeah. That's why a lot of the time you find ragers are actually feeding at the same time that they're raging because they're too focused on doing that. Maybe we can get a Baron. Not a Baron, I meant Dragon. That was uh, being ambitious. That was a good smite. Smited that 797. All we need to do is protect this Lulu. If, if someone gets caught before that, that's where we're struggling. So if LeBlanc is trying to make a play and she just gets killed, then suddenly we're on the back foot. If the if the the LeBlanc resists going into a stupid play, then that's just going to help us a lot because then we can focus on protecting Tristana. And I think that's our win condition. Ugh. Got that. Oh, Trista's top and she's the person that we need the most. We should just go for like a last ditch effort 5v5. If we win it, then we can go nuts. Can we just go nuts on them? I need them to be under tower, really. I'm trying to bait like an ultimate or something. Jace's build. Can't be everywhere at once. We ace them. 
Again, like I said to you guys earlier, in a grouping situation, we'll win this game. It just depends if the enemy team give us the grouping situation. That's why it's smart for the Trindimid to split push. Like, that that's their win condition. Rough one, though, to be honest. Um, it's very hard to determine what I should be doing. Guess I need to stun magic resist just in case I have to walk straight into a Cassiopeia. Like she's not that big of a threat. I guess the Elise is a bit more of a threat. It was a good pick on the Elise. Like I had to obviously flash for it, but it was a good pick. And then, you know, it was a nice taunt on Cassio and then a nice catch up. So we're like we're doing some good work as Ramus. Like we we are doing stuff. It's just is the game what you have to ask, is the game too far gone? Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. If I if we if we do what our comp is designed to do, we'll win this game easily. But again, I don't know. We'll see. It's a good game though. Like honestly, this is actually quite fun. These are the games I enjoy. Obviously, I wouldn't want to be at a disadvantage, but it's close. I want to just run straight into them. How the hell did they kill Tristana? I'm confused how they killed Trist. What, did Elise kill Trist by herself? Oh, she just rage quit. Or did she DC in the fight? Because she didn't ult again. Did she DC? Like, what? I thought that was a really good fight. Apparently not. Uh... If she DC'd in the fight, that makes sense. Oh. I have, I'm really confused of what happened in that team fight because I thought that would have gone really well. I'm looking forward to watch that back. Those are the type of the situations that I'm looking forward to because I thought that was really good. So she rage quit. Is that what they, like? I, I have no idea. Weird. All right. Well, there you go. There's game number one for today that I'll be recording. Honestly, it was rough. Uh, it was made rough by unfortunate situations. Uh, I'm also going to give it to the Alulu because I think she stayed cool, uh, you know, in relative terms. Um, but yeah, that was a rough game. You know, top lane went pretty, pretty bad. Um, and yeah, I don't know. All right, we got a B plus. We went three six fourteen, so we got a lot of assists, which is good. We lost nineteen, and damage done. <laughs> My damage is pretty good, um, doing more than the Tristana, which that shouldn't be a thing, obviously. But yeah, disappointing. But I don't know what I can say really. Like there was there was a chance to turn it, and uh, that last team fight again. I, that's why I'm a little bit like confused because I thought that would have been really good. We got onto the Cassio. I taunted her before the Morgana shield came on, which is great. But then I think I think the Elise went on the Tristana by herself and managed to kill the Tristana before the Tristana used her ultimate to push her away. Again, that's a, it's a perfect tool as an AD carry to push people away from you, from you and then you kill them. And Trist didn't use it. So I'm a bit confused, but that's just going to happen. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, throw a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.